Welcome to Start Building Me. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas for 2022 and Happy New Year to 2023, folks. This is my nightly training concept to prove to you that consistency is far more important than intensity and duration of your training. Basically, you have to train every day, folks. Training is mandatory and it should be seen as positive and that's what I'm trying to help you with is forming a positive habit and uh, basically wanting to exercise every day instead of seeing it like a chore. I'll wait for some people to come up as I've told them I'm going to be training today. I had to take last week off because I was sick. I got a cold. It wasn't the Rona. I did the Rona test courtesy of Sally Starjump and uh, turned out negative for that. Positive for crazy, negative for Corona. So here I am sipping on my lemon and uh, soda water courtesy of Sal Starjump of my very own uh, soda stream, which I've been too tight to buy my entire life. I love soda water. Growing up in Germany, you drink soda water, AKA Sprudel, every day. It's something that you get by the crate load in Germany, and uh, I love it, so I've gotten back into that. Stay tuned, I'm doing a nightly video called Rebuild. I started Rebuild in uh, the end of 2018 as a way to detox myself from uh, alcohol addiction. So I'm gonna start that up again and show you, I practice what I preach. So not only do I do this training here to get people into the habit of exercising, but I'm gonna have a daily recap of what I've been doing. At the moment, which is rebuilding, I am going to be working on a ketogenic diet to try and cut the sugar out of my system after the holidays and um, play around with some different exercise protocols. Happy New Year, Jazz, good to see you, mate. Good to have seen you as well. I ate the bots back, hallelujah. Sal Starjump was asking where the, uh, her points were at and I was like, uh, 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 I don't know. Uh, they're right back there, folks. It's uh, had to switch it back on. I'm not sure, I think when Streamlabs uh, changes something from time to time that it switches off. Oh. That's good. I just did a 32 kilometer cycle. I'm cycling 30 kilometers a day to jumpstart my ketogenic cycle um, to just, like I said, try and get rid of some sugars as I have been eating quite a bit of sugar at my time back in Sydney for the holidays. Not, you know, that much, but they're saying, uh, you know, as little as 20 to 25 grams of excess sugar can throw, throw you out of... Uh, uh, ketogenesis, ketogenesis, keto, whatever it is, throw you out of that keto state. As I'll be working on, just wait in a few more minutes to see if the good Sal Star Jump comes. As I had hassled her today. Ketosis. <laughs> That's the one, and now we know that Sally Star jumps in the house. As you can see, the gift that keeps on giving, my magic water. Does it disappear in the black back, blue background? No, not really, but anyway. Yeah, I can see it, I can see it now. Like I said, it's, um, I'm pretty sure on, if you go to streambuild.me, uh, Sally Star jump, after this session, your points and your time will add up. And like I said, this is the back end to the app that I'm developing is that people who, Sign up via the app, probably via an API from uh, Twitch. It logs your time and your points, and I'll have a, get, a giveaway sort of system that Jared is in the clean sweeps for because he's been killing it for the last two years, but nonetheless, we're still in the beta development phase. So, ketosis. Uh, I'm not sure how long it will take, probably a day or two. I think they say up to 72 hours. I had a protein shake, just psyllium and uh, protein. I will be doing my rebuild videos, which like I said, I used to do in 2018. Went in Melbourne as a means to keep myself honest from drinking alcohol. So I'm gonna do that also as a way to try some video stuff. Anyway, I'm sweating. My knees are a little bit sore, feeling a little bit fatigued. So let's try and get something out anyway. Uh, my camera setup looks not too bad, actually, for a change. That's right, I fixed that all up before my break last time. Anyway, let's do some squats. I had a climb, a pretty useless climb today, but uh, I think on 
my chin up board I've done I don't know maybe 40 or 50 chin ups so what are we doing folks it's called exercise something you've got to do every day now you don't have to do the exact amount I do we're competing against ourselves and our performance yesterday that is it Athleticism is the pursuit of a performance indicator over time, right? So if it's a football player, it might be how, uh, as a goalkeeper, how many saves he has a day, uh, a match. Uh, a striker might be how many goals he has per match. A midfielder might be the kilometers uh, and intercepts or whatever it is, the performance metrics we're going to collect. But to start right at the beginning, as is the case, we would start building me. All we're trying to do is get into a habit of getting off the couch in the first place. And folks, please, even athletes get up in the morning sometimes and think, I do not want to get out of bed, I do not want to train. It's not just the novice, it's not just every sort of other person in the world. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Oh, depends what it is. And my goodness, I'm going to sleep well tonight. It's been a busy day, but busy days are good days. So I'm just getting back into it as I've done a 32 kilometer ride. I'm not gonna go for broke tonight. I'm just gonna be going through the motions of the squat, which is one of the most fundamental uh, compound movements that there is. Sitting back into your heels, weights going to the outside of your feet. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, shake out your legs. How many reps is important? It doesn't matter. All we're trying to do is get the blood pumping through our body, through our blood vessels, folks, and into your brain because your brain needs blood. Your brain needs energy. And this is a system where you're pumping your blood all through your body and it's what makes your body work properly. It's what makes your brain work properly. Studies have shown that 35 minutes of intermediate level exercise is required per day for your brain alone to function properly. How about that? 35 minutes, folks. Intermediate as well. So I think that is 120 to 140 BPM, beats per minute of your heart. So I think it's been explained as exercise where you can maintain a conversation, but just and try and do, you know, maybe some sets of three, one, two, three, shake it off. Got some tension on the inside of my thighs at the moment from cycling, so I don't want to go for broke. First day back, folks. Hope you had a good time off. <sighs> my goodness, see, at least you can put up with the yawning through my headphones, but I've been coughing for the last two weeks. Like I said, not the Rona, checked and verified, folks. But it was a pretty bad cold, and I'm still coughing, but just not as much as I was before. It's a chatbot. Chatbot is going nuts here. Prizes, consider the following channel, check out more information. Yeah, good on your Streamlabs. Go hard. Any tips and tricks that I'll put in? Hey, that's odd. Unbelievable. That light went out. Anyway, look, see, look what happens. I get sidetracked by my lights. Now those lights went out again. And what about my hat? Does it get messed up? Very, very odd, folks. Anyway, I'll leave it like that because it's not blowing up my hat. And you know me. Ch the chatbot is the real hero here. All hail the chatbot. Man, all hail the soda stream. If I get a sponsor, I'm going to shill Soda Stream so hard. This is the best thing. Thank goodness Sal Starjump bought me the spare bulbrator uh, CO2 bottle. I've just been like the rat in the Skinner box going for broke. The key ingredient here, Sal, is you put your one gram of N-acetylcysteine in there with 25 milligrams of... Um, of lemon juice and since it's already got a citrusy sort of taste it's a refreshing drink patent pending patent pending patent pending seriously it's the best drink oh man yeah well, that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have an army of them 
I'm gonna have a bullet belt like Chewbacca, like a bandolier, bandoliers with soda streams in them. <laughs> Seriously, I'm gonna have to delete this video so they don't troll my idea. It's not FDA approved, um, unfortunately, which means you can you can sell it, but you cannot sell it in a food or a drug or something that's marketed as a food or drug, I think. I think that's probably why it doesn't exist. But like I said, we'll see what happens. Bust out a few more. One, two, three, four, five. People will watch this video, I swear, and say, oh, what's the point? You're just doing like three or five. It's, as I said, it's harder to, it's like a marketing thing, right? And I'm sure Jazz will have, or both of you actually, will have some more finer details. But if something's quick and easy or it's free, people don't value it, so they don't care about it. But if I was to say, hey, the Start Building Me program, $100 a week, it's a bee's knees, all of a sudden people are like, oh, I wonder, it must be good, right? So in the same fashion, if you say to somebody, if you just come here for 15 or 20 minutes, bang out some squats, bang up some push, bang out some push-ups rather, it will keep you really fit, it will keep your brain functioning better, it will improve your immune system, it will improve your digestion, it will improve your sleep, it will keep you coordinated, uh, it will stop you getting tendon damage, ligament damage, it will increase your muscle mass. Like people just, they they wouldn't believe it it's um it's it's crazy so that's why when i'm building the content at the moment is trying to set out i was going to start tonight but i'm way too knackered after today is to really spell out in the most simple unfalsifiable statements about why this is important and why the fitness industry has led people astray into thinking you've got to train you know until your eyeballs pop out every day it's just not the case, folks. All we're trying to do is get your body pumping. We're trying to get you coordinated. It's the most embarrassing thing you'll ever see is when somebody really ungracefully trips over or, you know, trips over their own feet and stacks it or something. It really doesn't have to be that way. You just have to, you know, save some dignity for later. As was a term coined by uh, the oldie Uncle Spargo. Uncle Sparkles. So some active recovery for me, getting the blood pumping through the quadriceps, some of the biggest muscles in your body, folks, your hamstrings, gluteal muscles, getting the blood pumping through is the aim of the game. As you can see, I never stop shuffling. I just can't stop moving. And this is like they say, they say people like me who are basically um, are anxious people uh, diagnosed generalized anxiety disorder as i've discussed with many friends over the time they have a different flavor that they diagnose you with every year folks so you know take from it what you will but you burn a lot of calories just you know twitching and just you know doing donuts like i do 24 7 like i'll find myself at my standing workstation just doing some sort of jig like that all day like i just can't stand still um, I can tell you I sit still when I'm in the esky in the morning listening to Sam Harris. <laughs> I'm, I'm in my cave, I'm in my power cave, and I'm going to be in there, with, what is it, with my power animal. <laughs> Slide. <laughs> I watched Fight Club this weekend, folks, great movie. Uh, oh, that was the first movie that I sat down and watched in a long time. Uh, hang on, I'm lying. What else did I watch recently and actually sat through it? Oh, yeah, the Robocop. <laughs> I watched Robocop. Robocop 2 and I watched the Robocop the 2014 one which was great as well so before I do some push-ups I'm going to do a few more squats get the blood pumping folks and then get out of here as I always explain on Start Building Me you can come in here you can see the notification pop up Facebook, Twitch, YouTube whatever it is come in here do a handful of squats and a handful of push-ups and then leave uh, you know, obviously Streamlabs is tailing it, but that's just for my project in the long run. But all I'm trying to get is people into the habit of just doing a little bit of exercise every day, just plumping the blood through their body, then getting the hell out of here and leaving me alone. Get off my lawn. <laughs> leave, leave this old man alone. So I can get back to sending angry letters to 
what is it? What is, what's the boomer news network? Sky News or Fox News. Back in my days, things used to be cheaper. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Take a load off. I'm gonna do five more and do some push-ups. Let's get out of here, rip my hand up. Feeling sorry for myself. Diamond Dale tried the bombs rush to get in here tonight, but he failed, which is good. Will I try and get a video out now that this, I'm not getting as much lens flare. Uh, yeah, I may as well. May as well try. I've got a, the way I've set it up from my studio is to try and send it from here on my network drive, record it, which I can do here and send it over the LAN to my uh, other computer. Anyway, let's do some push-ups. Let's get out of here. But first, <laughs> from my sponsor, SodaStream. Now we've got to get out of here, folks, because I'm out of SodaStream. All right, so I'm going to go back over here to the floor cam. There's my floor disappearing again. Very weird. And it's temporary. Oh, I'll have to sort that out. All right, so I'm going to try and do 50 push-ups and get out of here, folks. Don't forget, spread your fingers gives you a more stable base and it's sending through messages to your brain that you're going to be using your hands for something that requires some intensity to keep yourself stable. Don't forget to breathe. The novice issue or the novice error for everything in exercise is to <clears throat> seize up and stop breathing. Don't be a novice. And if you are a novice, it doesn't matter, but just keep on breathing. That's the best advice that I can give you. Tense your butt, dig your toes into the ground, which you will see me doing when I do this. So spread your fingers, really spread your fingers. Give yourself a firm base. Dig your toes into the ground. If you can't do them from your feet, do them off your knees. It's still a push-up if you're pushing yourself up off the ground, folks. Don't listen to the people that say it's not a proper push-up. It gets the blood pumping around your body, and that's the aim of the game. Um, like I said, it's start building me. It's not let's become a professional athlete dot me. So we're just trying to get any push-ups as we can. As I said, I've got a, f a bit of a cold still, so I've got a sniffle. Disgusting. I'm sorry. Without further ado, dig your toes into the ground like that. Keep your butt tense and breathe. <sighs> Oh, I've got a tissue here as well. Unreal. Oh, that was heaven. And back to a kangaroo position. Lie down, kick back. And breathe. Balmy 32, didn't rain today, thank goodness. A few days off the rain. I know yawning's contagious. I apologize for nothing. I know it's an hour later for you guys anyway, for the people mostly that I'm seeing in here from Sydney. So, um, and I'm obviously tired thinking, oh, it's even later for jazz because you're further south. It's like, dude, you're a pilot. Maybe you shouldn't say stupid stuff like that. Um, there you go, I did. I regret nothing. I uh, blame traumatic, what is it, uh, TV, chronic CT, chronic traumatic encephalopathy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They feel ratty. Uh, they're consciously incompetent. Consciously incompetent. Yeah, so I know I'm doing them wrong, but I'm just trying to get out 50 and get out of here. You know, maybe when something goes on in my lights and it's not, I mean, actually there was, it disappeared on the floor. I I've got to change uh, something up there. And no, uh, I don't think I'm gonna record a video tonight. I'm too tired and I want it to seem sprightly. I want it to seem like my normal jovial 
manic self to try and convince people to do exercise instead of yawning Dave in kangaroo slouch mode, kangaroo court mode here. Um, because the first video is quite a, important, it's uh, just trying to explain to people the way that I've phrased it is, look, folks, there's a reason why people exercise in every country, every society around the world, right? It's just a part of life that has become, you know, sidelined where people think it's optional, where it is, in fact, not optional. It is exactly like eating, sleeping and drinking water. And the classic that I always bang on about that your body doesn't work properly if you do not work your body, that we're biochemical entities. And all you need to know about that is that the only way that the chemistry in our body works properly is with that fundamental component of exercise in addition to what you eat and the sleep that you get or your diet and uh, a little bit more fluff than that but I'm trying to keep the video short because people are short and by short I mean people have very short attention spans um, but you know the hardest part that I'm doing is trying to as you guys know I'm a bit of a wordsmith autist scientist I find it hard to say things it's not explain like I'm five reddit style I think it's going to be like explain like I'm 12 or maybe explain that's no maybe eight year, years old or so would get it younger would probably get it to be fair after seeing cousins kids they're all pretty smart <laughs> Repent, folks. Ketosis. Going into ketosis. Um, a good analogy that I heard, the reason why I... Like, I mean, I've done it indirectly a few times, but focusing on it more specifically, is running on sugar, they say, is like burning fat in your body is like a car's 12-volt body a, a battery, and the sugar's like, you know, a AAA battery that's in your remote control, and we're always running off that AAA battery instead of running off the 12 volt deep cycle battery because we're running off uh, sugar, not um, off glu uh, glucose neo gluconeogenesis, which is the process where the liver pr uh, converts fat to glucose, which is what your brain needs for energy. Well, you know, specifically ATP, adenine triphosphate, which is. Uh, something that creatine supplements as well. So I'm going to be getting that into my nightly videos. Oh, I'm going to have to do that video anyway. Oh well, I'll do that one video. I'm just explaining to people what I've done. Um, oh, as I keep on doing my push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So my body weight is 89.8 .8 kilos, so 199 pounds-ish, 14 stone. I checked for the first time today. Resting heart rate uh, of 48, blood pressure 117 over 79, which is good. Um, today I've had 60 grams of protein with psyllium husk, two tablespoons of olive oil, zinc, magnesium, uh, omega-3 and omega, yeah, omega-3 marine triglycerides uh, and vitamin C, like I said, NAC and a uh, butt ton of water. So I'll have to do that video. Um, that doesn't matter. It just, it's just basically fodder at the moment still for testing, editing. I'm going to do 10 more and get out of here and do that, folks. Love you as always. Have a good night. And uh, you got to start somewhere, folks. And that's exactly what I've done here. As always, gone a little bit over, talking S-H-I-T, which is typical of me getting back into it. Let's try and get this back into a fine old machine. Ow, I've got my, ow, ow, my freaking ears. <laughs> my sh uh, shoulders are sore from riding. Got to man up on that one. Anyway, 10 more and let's get out of here. One, two, tense your butt, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to try and do that video now. Take it easy, folks. Have a good night and see you tomorrow.